In this video, I'm going to take you through coding your block model by bench, which can then be used in the reporting. There are two ways to do this, either directly on the block model using calculations, or creating a geological model and then evaluating that onto the block model. So first I'll show you the calculations method. So you right click on the block model calculations. So this is a categorical calculation, so it'll be a new category calculation. Then I've just made an if statement using low and upper limits to define each bench by using the ZC, which is the Z centroid of the block. Now this method works if the Z dimension of your block corresponds to the bench height or is at least in increments of your bench. If it doesn't fit into the bench height, then you will have to make a geological model one. So I'll just show you that method. So using the geological model method is much the same as building the pit model, which I showed you in another video. So when you create a new geological model, we'll use the base lithology as none because we don't want to use any of the categories from the drill holes because it's not relevant to what we want to do here. So just uh, select none and then create the geological model. So I've already started making it. So you can see here my base lithology is none. And I just have to finish uh, making the last uh, bench at the top here. So to create the levels for the contacts for the bench model, I've been doing that using the moving plane. So just draw a moving plane into your scene somewhere, and then you can always adjust the dip and everything here. So that, that's making sure that's completely flat. And then my Z, I need that at 690. Then I come to meshes for moving plane. I'll just call that Z690. Okay. So you'll see that's created a mesh exactly on that level that I want. So now I want to add it to my geological model. But first I need to add this into the lithologies. 690. So new deposit from surface, select the 690. So the first lithology will be 690 and then the one below it will be the 630. Activate, it's in the right location, it's right at the top. Okay. Then all you have to do is evaluate that onto your block model. So there's my bench model, evaluate it on. You may want to use it as a sub-blocking trigger as well. Just leave it like that for now. So while that's doing that, I will show you what this model looks like. So you can see that the model is in 60 meter benches to correspond with my pit here and everything below 450 I've just left as quite thick but everything else is in regular intervals. So here's my model, my actual estimated model, coded by bench. There we go. So now I can create a new resource report. I will use my bench model as a category and my AU. I could also, if I didn't uh, use the bench model method, um, I could have just used my category calculation. So I have to select a unit, grounds per term. I've got an invalid message here because I have unestimated blocks within those domains that I have estimated. So I can just create a cutoff of zero to get rid of those. Then I can just customize this report now. I want to switch off unknown, change the decimal places, change to troy ounces. Now this is the estimate uh, by bench, but I also want to report in my pit. So I do have a filter on my block model already, which I created earlier. I'll just show you in here. So this is just my pit model um, inside. So it's inside the pit that I have on, uh, coded onto my model. 
so I can report inside the picture. And then I can just copy this table out and paste it straight into Excel. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, please contact your local sequence office.